Hey everybody, 3D Icicle Freeze here. In the last episode, we went ahead and we um actually threatened um one of the uh territories and believe it or not, they surrendered. In this episode, excuse me, we are going to finish off Huang Zhang in hopes that we can um you know, win and take over China and unite it. Um, this battle I'm going to be Jia Chong, and let's get it going. Alright, second to last invasion, let's do it. This <laughs> All right, so I actually uh, forgot that it's not like Dynasty Warriors Six Empires, so scratch that. Uh, I think this actually will be the last battle, assuming we 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 get everything. So I'm gonna upgrade like. Everything once. Um, then we're gonna go to stratagems. I think we got like a good amount. Battle objectives, fine. Uh, let's just make sure my weapons are in order. I think I have the. Nope. Good. I'm really happy. I actually checked because I didn't think I had the stage three. As long as I the, as long as I have the stage three, I'm fine. Uh, we have the custom, and we are good to go. All right. Uh, I think for the last battle, I think a good song would be something really epic. Um, I think the Men of Intelligence. I like the song. All right, let's do it. This is an absurd battle. <laughs> I like that. All right, cool. Um, all right, so we got Win Alter. Have archers conceal themselves in the current location. False orders. Temporarily set fire to all enemy bases. We'll do that. Okay, so we have 115 minutes until uh, that is... 115 seconds! 110 now, seconds, until we actually get that um, underway. Alright, so I can't believe this. This is the final battle. Wow, this is actually really cool. I can't believe this... Let's Play is coming to an end already. I really... That's very upsetting to me. I'll... You know, again, I, uh, I haven't been able to see um, your guys' comments yet because I haven't uploaded part 8 because I know that this is... Excuse me. Episode 8 because I know that this is technically episode 9. But, um... Uh, what's it called? Um... I really, I'm really hoping that I get a lot of feedback from you guys talking about how if you want me to become like a general and then do that, you know, and then, um, you know, show, show gameplay of the life of being a general. I would really enjoy doing that. So again, I really hope, um, I really hope you guys like answer to that and whatnot. Um, so that'll be, that would definitely be really fun. And again, um. Whoa, Zheng Zhao's glitching a lot. Um, cause yeah, I would really enjoy that. Um, cause I'm really, I'm, I really enjoy Extreme Legends, don't get me wrong, but I'm not quite ready to go back to Extreme Legends yet. I'm really enjoying this, honestly. Cause again, I love Extreme Legends, and like I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to getting back on that Let's Play, but I'm really enjoying this too, so. Um, I would honestly say I'm definitely not ready yet. Um... Alright. Okay, so Wang Zhong's got reinforcements. Uh, we have a lot of enemy generals in the center. Um, so I really hope they don't take that base, actually. Alright, so we got this base captain. Dang, this is taking a really long time. Hey! I think we, we accomplished it. All enemy bases are currently on fire. Alright. There we go. We got Inferno to activate. Everything's on fire. Awesome. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> Hailstorm? This battle's not going to last that long. 
We'll do uh, we'll do archer stuff. We'll do we'll do this archer ambush. That's another thing. We haven't gone over all the stratagems either. We've yet to like get all that stuff. So, oh, I don't know where I'm trying to go. Okay, let us go this way. Um, wow, those generals are going after me now. They left that entire base. But the enemy commander has showed up. I think uh, there's only one thing left to do. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do that, but... Oh, well. Uh, do false orders? I'll do another win altar for the hell of it. Okay. And while you burn in flames, there's only one thing left to do. Finish this battle. If I can get a storm rush, that would be really cool. Sweet. All right, Hong Zhong. I didn't want I didn't want it to end this way, but you didn't leave me much of a choice. And we ended with a storm rush. Bam. Jia Chong ending the final battle in flames. I could see I could have seen that happening in uh history. <laughs> oh, I have such a doofy laugh. <laughs> anyway though, we have won. I believe that's it. Alright, victory! We got our merits. Uh we're gonna release everybody, I think. Unless I come across us uh, you know, anybody. Anyway, uh, the Jade Kingdom defeated the ruler Hongzhong and took the territories belonging to them. The Hongzhong Kingdom has been wiped out. Awesome. Year 6, month 12. Jig successfully united the land.
General of the Land, Way of Life. When you clear Empire Mode, you will be awarded a Way of Life depending on the titles uh, you've acquired up until that point. If you are using a Custom Officer, then you can save that Way of Life. From the next game onward, when they appear as an NPC, they will act in accordance with that Way of Life. Cool! General of the Land, a conqueror who ruled a large kingdom. When you clear Empire Mode, a timeline called your timeline will be created based on the actions that you have taken. Complete a variety of actions to create your own unique timeline. Cool. Alright, so we could actually save that. I didn't mean to click no, but hey, whatever. Anyway, um, and here are the credits, so there it is. Pretty cool. Um, wow. This game was awesome. Um, really like this game a lot. Um, man, my thoughts about it. Um, I would definitely say like 4.5 stars out of 5. I really like this game a lot. Again, I know I'm the only person on the planet, but I do appreciate the English voice acting, and I wish there had been a, like an option. You know, I could change it. But again, it doesn't make or break this game. I still really like this game a lot. Um, I thought, th I think that this game is absolutely awesome, and I think I'm going to play it as much as I played Dynasty Warrior 6 Empires. Um, I had over 30 save files and completed all 30, so you can imagine how many hours, because if you do the math, like, all those usually took, like, 6-7 hours for me to beat, personally. So, 30... 30 times like six or seven that's that's quite a bit of hours <laughs> so um so yeah so i definitely uh i played that game a lot but i really um you know i had missed um i really had missed dynasty warrior 7 empires and i and you know i had gotten the xbox 360 and obviously i really enjoyed it but when i saw that it was only for ps3 i was so disappointed and so that's why I said, all right, after Xbox 360, I'm switching back to Sony. And sure enough, that's exactly what I've done. Um, now that I'm on PlayStation 4 and, you know, here I am playing Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. So this was a game I was not going to miss. Um, you know, I really like it a lot. I can't wait till more, like, downloadable content comes out because that's something I'm excited to show you guys. You know, because even after I end this Let's Play, I can always come back to it and say, Hey guys, I want to show you this custom scenario I thought was really cool. You know, things like that. So, um... So I definitely, uh... I really like it a lot. Uh, I know I can't pronounce it correctly, but Koi or Kyo, um... Te Tecmo, um... Did get an awesome job. Um, I really enjoy this game a lot. And, uh... I will be seeing you guys later. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and, um, I'll see you guys soon. Alright, so, uh, actually, sorry, but before I end the video, uh, this is something I definitely want to add in real quick. Uh, it gives you the option, as soon as you complete, it says, Register Custom, o uh, custom Officer Data that reflects your playstyle during the ga this game. If a Customer Officer appears as an officer other than the one controlled by you, they will act as that way that reflects your play d style during this game. I tried reading the flat fast, but messed up quite a few times. I'm going to click yes for that. Uh, so we're going to overwrite the data. Do you wish to register the officer born as your child as a custom officer? Absolutely. That is something I was really hoping would come up. So I like that a lot too. Uh, as you can see, I've already made quite a bit of officers. Um, so we have Jake. Uh, we have Zim Zam. Uh, for some reason... Okay, yeah, hold on. I I'm going to show you guys in a second. I'm just going to save this real quick. I just want to show you guys all the characters I've created. I've already created a bunch. Uh, so, I'll, in fact, I'll even show you guys. So, when I go to custom, customer officers, I have Jake the second. I got rid of Jake, didn't I? I just got rid of Jake. I'm an idiot. <laughs> and it just saved, so there's nothing I could do about it. Well, let's just say that Jake passed away peacefully, and, um, well, we let his son take over. 
Wow, that's actually really upsetting. I no longer have Jake, <laughs> but I have his son, at least. Um, wow, that's upsetting. Not gonna lie. But anyway, <laughs> we have Jake the second here. Sims I am's like a friend my character made. And then I just made a bunch of, like, generic characters that I thought would be really cool just to randomly design. And so that's actually exactly what I did. And uh, a lot of these characters, I think, are pretty cool looking. But, um... Yeah, this is currently a character I'm using, so... So, yeah, so, um... So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that you can register your son, don't be an... Or daughter. Uh, don't be an idiot like I am and register it over that person that you've used, or if you want them. Um... But, yeah, um... You know, I really had no real reason to really return to that, you know, scenario anyway. So, I mean... You know, everything that was done was done. There's really, you know... I'm not really... I really can't say that I'm, like, you know, upset about it. But anyway, we have our gallery, something I did want to just show off. We have ending. Uh, I believe you can actually... You can... We have a new chapter begins. We unlock that. Obviously, there's a few more flashbacks and stuff, but... Um... I wasn't done there. Okay. Uh, we have weapons. Obviously, it's going to show the weapons we've gotten. Wallpapers, we owed in 2 out of 2, 2 out of 2, 2 out of 2, 10 out of 10. Cool. Your timeline. Um, and obviously, um, if we had saved my character, I believe we could have um, <coughs> actually viewed that, but of course I didn't. That's pretty upsetting. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have the encyclopedia. Just um, Again, I'm just kind of going through the modes I never showed off. This, of course, just tells you, like, the, you know, here you can learn about the officers and what they did. When they were born, when they died. Here you can learn about the Three Kingdoms story. Here's the battles. Uh, you have the glossary. And then you have the timeline. And actually, you can see that uh, Jia Chong and Wen Yang, you know, are like some of the longest to live in terms of the, um, you know, in terms of what they have recorded. So I think that this stuff's pretty cool. Um, so we have all that stuff. We have online play, but I do not have PlayStation Plus, so therefore, uh, this is not something I can actually go ahead and try. Um, I'm assuming it's probably not gonna let me exactly. Right, so... It says I could get it for two days, but I'm not gonna... I really don't want to use it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no on that one. Um, but you, but there is online play, um, which maybe one day I will show off, because I am gonna be getting PlayStation Plus soon, but not too soon. Um, well, that's it, guys. Um, so again, I, I know that that ending was really epic, and I apologize for kind of ruining it, because I kind of wanted to, like, end off the video like that, but I felt that this was necessary to kind of just go through the modes. However, now the question stands, there's still that one more option. If you guys want me to, I can make another Let's Play of this game, but except this time I'll be an officer instead. Uh, if you guys want, if you have any requests on how I should go about it, and if you want me to do it, let me know. Because if you guys don't comment or let me know, I'm not going to go through with it. But if you guys want me to, then I am going to go through with it. You know, because again, I want to upload as much content that you guys enjoy as possible. So, um, definitely comment below saying if you, uh, if you want something, if you want me to do something. But I definitely am going to be a general... And I would do a different scenario. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next episode, if possible, we are going to uh, start um, another scenario. But if not, if we decide not to do that, then uh, I will be seeing you guys for Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends. Alright? See you guys then.